Hey everybody, Warbun Ninja Platypus here, and welcome back to Let's Play Ultimate Spider-Man for the Game Boy Advanced. And it's uh, time to get started on Chapter 2. The music in this game is amazing, man. It's epic, man. I'm telling you, free. Uh, sometimes Venom looks just like uh, Barney's worst nightmare. I'm serious, he's like a demon version of Barney. Well, anyways, he's gone topside, don't let him get away. Yeah, don't, don't let him get away, this man has gone topside and I have to eat him. Oh, it's okay, everybody. It's okay, he's dead. Okay, he's... There's no more top side. Oh, you were talking about me? Oh, oh, geez. Well, well, I'm not, I'm not going anywhere. I can't. I mean, then there would be nothing to let's play. Well, I'm sure I could let's play a few other games, but they wouldn't be as, I guess, relative to my current let's play, which is this game. So, sorry guys, I'm gonna have to uh, keep killing you and stuff. So, anyways, going back over here and uh, gonna eat tennis ball man. So, good luck for, good awesomeness for that. And, uh, health. And, uh, something I didn't men mention, uh, in the last episode, which I probably should mention now, is that it doesn't matter how low your opponent's health is, when Venom eats them, he gains the same amount of health regardless of the opponent's current health, which is why, well, actually, you have to get them down to the blue, technically, but for some, for some enemies like the one, like these guys, you can just eat them right away. And, uh... But as far as for the blue health goes, the blue, uh, however low the blue uh, section of the bar is, is irrelevant to how much health you get. You get based based on how difficult the enemies are is how as how much health you get. So it's like if I defeat if I swallow those guys, I only get like a tiny bit of health. But if I eat the like the Falcon Punchers, you get like uh, almost a quarter of your of your health bar uh, filled up. So that's pretty cool. And, uh, anyways, gonna get rid of Captain Falcon, so, uh, I'm really sorry, guys, if I did not post an episode yesterday, which I did not, and, uh, I overslept really bad to the point to where it was pretty much nighttime by the time I woke up, and, uh, I pretty much am going to do the same thing again today, which is why I've made an episode in advance. It's actually 6 something a.m. right now. No, it's 7.25 a.m. Good lord. What's my problem, man? I gotta start taking sleeping meds or something. Well, anyways, uh, I'm making my episode in advance. I am going to be making weekend episodes from now on, so awesome sauce for that. And uh, I hope you guys will enjoy my weekend episodes. And uh, hopefully on the weekends is when I'll get to make the episodes the most. Because uh, I'll be able to put the most energy into my work and... I'll be able to uh, record the most because I'll have the most amount of spare time. Anyways, I will be making episodes on the weekends from now on. Alright, so, gonna go up here. Man, uh,. The controls, see that's, if there's anything negative about this game, it's that the controls when you're playing as Venom are extremely stiff. Uh, you cannot attack an enemy when you're walking towards him, I don't think. You can uh, do this, but you know, you can't walk and attack at the same time, so it's almost as if you have to stop and then attack, because uh, I, I have no idea why, that just, uh, I think that kind of sucks, but you know, you take what you can get, so. Uh, it, there's nothing, you know, that that doesn't detract from this from the awesomeness of the game. But anyways, we're going to get the upgrade now. Which is going to make things a billion times easier. And it's a feeding upgrade. The Venom suit has uh, now, uh, the power has not been increased. Venom can now feed more quickly. And uh, what that basically means is that from now on, uh, you might have noticed before that... Oh, wait, I guess I'm going to have to go this way. You might have noticed before that... Uh, whenever I would try to feed on an enemy after I bought his health bar, if there was another enemy in the way, that I wouldn't be able to feed on him. Uh, because he would punch me before I could finish the feeding process. And now, that's how fast I feed. I literally feed so fast now, Venom feeds so fast, that, uh, whenever another enemy tries to intervene, it's already too late. So that's, that is amazing. That almost makes the game too easy, because it's like... I mean, health is in just such large quantities, and Venom is so powerful compared to Spider-Man in terms of sheer brute strength that it just makes things, you know, ridiculously easy. So that's pretty cool. 
And uh, I, want, I want to apologize in advance for any commentary that may be deemed uh, subpar because, uh, as I said before, I've been awake for quite a long time. So there's that. and Or what feels like a long time, at least 12 hours. And, uh... Anywho... Um... Going to get rid of Falcon Punch Man over here. Falco, too bad you're eating. All right. Uh, see, that's another thing. Whenever you're trying to climb on a wall, it's extremely hard to, to uh, because of the size of his uh, character model, it's extremely hard to uh, turn whenever you're crawling corners for some reason. It's extremely awkward. It's not bad. It's just awkward. Uh, in no way does this detract from the fun of the game, but. Uh, there's just, you know, there's just little kinks in Venom's awesomeness. I, I, mean, I would even dare to say that they may be intentional, just because if, if he was a, as efficient as Spider-Man was in terms of character, you know, control schemes and whatnot, the game would literally be too easy, so, uh, or at least I'd like to think. So anyways, alrighty then, got some, got some food, man, got Got my cheeseburgers. That was some kind of joke that we had in uh, high school. Someone would, uh, you know, it's it's like people that are on crack supposedly eat a lot of cheeseburgers or something. I don't know. It was some kind of some kind of weird joke, I guess. I'm not exactly sure. Man, I really, really need to come up with some better commentary. Got some got some commentary problems today. Getting some. So what I, this is what I call like half awake commentary. It's it's like it's the let's play curse is what it is. It's whenever I don't know. I guess I guess I'm not sure what the let's play curse is. I'm guessing it's whenever you try to come up with good commentary, but then it sucks because you're trying too hard or trying too little. And uh, in this case, it's because I've stayed up for much longer than a normal human being should be allowed to stay up. And, uh, that all just stems from my horrible insomnia, which needs to be solved ASAP. Uh, if I ever want to get anywhere in this Let's Play thing. And not anywhere in terms of being a good Let's Player. Being a good Let's Player, you're either a good Let's Player or you're not. You're either going to come up with decent commentary or not. You know, and I'm sure your commentary will improve over time. There's no doubt about that. But it all comes down to, uh, never giving up. And, uh, and just having a good mood whenever you do it because if you're not happy the people who are watching you aren't happy all right that completes the chapter so what's going to happen in chapter three uh whenever we get to control venom some more and kick some more button feed on some more guys especially with the new upgrade which we just got which came in amazing handiness of various magnitudes find out next time on let's play ultimate spider-man for the game Boy advance this has been robot ninja Potipus, everybody i'll see you guys tomorrow